Hello and welcome back to the channel that we call Play with Ali. Today we are building a house with a new kit pack that is called Cartet Courtyard Oasis Kit. This new kit is the fourth kit we have ever gotten. God knows how many more kits we are getting from the e the EA team, the Sims team. Considering the Sims 4 has 20 stuff packs, I expect about 20-ish kits as well. Let's move on to the building. I built it. Riyadh part first and then I added the other parts, I added spandrels and but I uh, struggled with spandrels quite a lot. At the end it worked just fine before and for this build I just used the base game and the new kit. I built in an, an entry room just for the sole purpose of the using the two of the biggest doors that came with the kit and that they are actually very good and I wish they were just the medium wall height uh, tall but well the team had, had made them into the tallest wall height tall so I can, I can complain but I will not complain about it just for now at least and then uh, let's continue about the spare build I j for this build I just used base game and the new kit because I want I want people to download download this home in onto the their place on from the gallery and my gallery is on the my gallery ID is on the this in the description part please check it out and the entry part is coming along just well just just fine and the balcony is here and I put the columns on the on the corners of some rooms because I want I want those rooms to be separated from the rest of the home. And I actually want to recreate the domes that the team have built for the cover cover of the pack. But it is coming right now, coming along. It's coming up right coming up because I'm just putting the windows and all and then I just put the boxes and the boxes that touches with each other and I have created this shell with the boxes and all and the struggle was real and I have struggled with the open area that opens to the Riyadh sorry today I'm a bit gassy and this is the domes. This is the dome I have just built. And uh, actually, the Sims team built the uh, dome with uh, square one, but it wasn't a dome. It was just something that looks like dome, but it 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 actually wasn't a dome because the dome is actually a circular one. The cubic. I don't know the English word for for that. And I put uh, small windows next to the big windows to make it authentic. Yeah, authentic. Whatever. I I put the arches, doors, and the windows in the places I wanted them to be on. And I I actually deleted the some rooms on the the room on the rooftop to make the Riyadh part open and. I want because I want and I want to make a rooftop sitting area. I built the front porch with two with the stairs on each each side to make it look cool. Make it make it look cool. And I want to talk about it. And I want to talk about the kids. This kit brings a lot of actually two just two wallpapers, but a lot of furniture that resembles Mus Islam and Muslim countries and I'm from Turkey so the, Tur the Turkey the Turkish style of architectural design actually is change was changed when the Seljuk Seljuk Empire Empire was founded in the Anatolia so the tile art and the mosque and, and all actually came later into the Turkish architectural area so I 
love the tile arts that came with the kit because the tile arts that we see in the kit are actually quite used in Turkish and uh, Turkish and Turkish slash Islamic culture as well. In Turkey, if you ever visit the Turkey, at least just Istanbul, you would see that every single mosque has tile art, and I really didn't know. I really didn't know that the Morocco has tile art of their own as well, and these tile arts are so good. I and I also didn't know that the kit the tile arts in the kit has so many varieties and I didn't know how to create this before trying and they look good and let's move on uh, so I was talking about the tiles in Turkey and I want to say that most of the historical palaces in Turkey has tile arts on the exterior or in the interior like such as blue mosque since the basilica cistern cistern and domobahce domobahce palace topkapı palace and such palaces use the tiles because it is our culture as well is our shared history is our shared culture with islam and we have our own style of tile arts that we call iznik chinisi Iznik, Iznik Chinesi is an art and a form of tile art and that tile art is found, founded in Iznik part of Turkey or uh, actually in the Ottoman time so it was Iznik Ottoman not Iznik Turkey whatever so this house has four to five bedrooms three bathrooms one or two living rooms and two landings, two porches, not porches, two entrances, I guess, one in the back, one in the one in the front. And I put columns on the corners of the sun rooms to state that these rooms are different, these rooms are the main area of the home. And I will put the spandrel spandrels or phrases I don't know what it's called but I put them onto the onto the rooms that I put the columns on the corner of to say to tell to people that it is the main part and the other parts are actually quite added later and I tiled each and every single of the bathrooms and I met and I, because I think that the tiling is made makes the room different from the others and right now in the kitchen I am trying to come up with a new and exciting layout for the kitchen and this layout for the kitchen is what I have never done before this is my first time doing it and I'm very proud of it because it looks very good very great and if I ever move out from my family's home and or and will be enough rich to make my own home I would use that layout for the kitchen and actually I put jacuzzi I guess jacuzzi I don't know what you call or what the Americans call that I call that jacuzzi I put the jacuzzi in in the bathroom of the one of the masters bedroom because I feel like the masters bedroom needs a bathroom that has biggest top in the home in the whole home all in the whole home and I I am decorating and deciding on the layout of the bed bedrooms and this yellow room is one of the master's bedroom and the beige room is the second second bed master bedroom that and the beige messy bedroom has dome on it and it looks great and when the, when it rains the people in the master bedroom can look up the sky and see how, see the pouring of the rain and this is the living room and this living room actually initially had a grand piano 
and but I changed my ideas on that and in the library I created my own bookshelf with the with the two two of the base game bookshelf on, on top of each other because there were there isn't any tall wall height bookshelf so I created my own this house this home has no CC, has no custom content from the gallery at all. And this is the breakfast room. I actually put a sofa or armchair in every single part of the in every single room because I feel like people might come from work tired and so much tired that they wouldn't go straight to bed so they wanted to see it before changing for their sleepwear so I put that I put the uh, put the sitting areas in the rooms just for just for the sake of that and I want to make the yellow master bedroom in two parts so I put spindles between them the sitting area and the bedding area and uh, this is the second this is the second living room on the second floor I suppose I'm not quite sure I, I suppose it's second floor and I created the balcony with three pots and uh, and one sofa and this is the rooftop this rooftop is actually what I want to cre recreate because I feel I feel like this kind of homes usually comes with the rooftop and in the roof on the rooftop I put the uh, fountain and this two of the new sofa and uh, two armchairs and uh, two tea set because I want I want the rooftop looks a bit used and a bit livelihood and this is the grand piano I was talking about in the living room section and I created a modern sitting area in the stereo room and I put the di formal dining table on the in the stereo room but later on I swapped the grand piano with the formal dining table because I feel like the guests shouldn't see the formal dining er table right, right after they enter a room so I swapped the grand piano with the with the dining table so that the living room has a dining table and the same room has a grand piano and I am trying to come up with some cool landscaping ideas with the trees uh, it was quite a struggle because I didn't know what what type of trees I would I would want to use, I, will, I would want to use in the build I see that I can see that there are so many palm trees in the area but I feel like this home wouldn't have palm trees just be, just just the just because the environment has palm trees so I created I put those type of trees I don't know the name of them and I created the way to a little roundabout for the porch and put the mailbox and the trash can right right off the bed and I put some decorations on the corners and the, on the tables and on the grand piano and all and I feel like this the end result of the home is very good and I think that I I feel like this home is my second favorite part home I have I have ever built So this home is my one of my proudest works it, because it it hits home right at home and I feel like I would live in this home with with even without a job if they request me to live in this home even if it is haunted I will I would and will accept that request <laughs> and towards the end I try I put some decorations like rugs and fans and 
tea sets and all. So they look good. As we are approaching the end of the video, I want to talk about the culture that I want to see in the future packs that the Sims teams brings. And today I learned that this Maxis as has just opened a European European counterpart of themselves, the European I guess the workshop? I don't know what it's called. I I really don't know but I feel like they will bring Slavic culture, Turkish culture, Balkan culture because they really need to add some add some more culture because the game the game brands itself with uh, play with life and if we do not have much more culture then how the people around the world will play with their life so they they need they really need to bring bring on some more culture and if they ever get a, if they ever bring a Turkish culture pack I really would I would really 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 be enjoying that and I would be really glad if they ever do that and the sounds you hear in the background is actually no copyright sounds from the YouTube thank you for the uploaders of that song we are approaching to the end of the video so thank you for watching the video and if you somewhat and somehow like to enjoy the video please consider subscribing leave a like and leave a comment thank you for watching again peace out